Hey guys, what's up? I uh, got a lot of uh, music to show off for you, kind of a hall I've been building up for a decent while now. Uh, everything's already opened, uh, so just save a little bit of time. Uh, I'm going to start off with what I kind of deem as the more exciting stuff, kind of work my way to the more lame stuff to the end. So if you don't feel like sitting around f through the whole thing, that's understandable, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, uh... So, the first thing that we've got is the uh, new uh, Pixies album, what is this called? Uh, the Night the Zombies Came. I gotta admit, uh, there was really just one particular reason why I ordered this. I haven't even listened to any of the songs off of it yet. I mean, I'm sure it's decent. I haven't really been keeping up with the Pixies uh, since uh, uh, Bossa Nova. Uh, I just never really uh, got around to checking out their more recent stuff. But, uh, yeah, uh... They were uh, doing signed inserts for these. Uh, if I remember correctly, the posting that I saw for it uh, said like CDs from a specific website, and then it said like the red colored vinyl, but I didn't see the red colored vinyl listed on said website, so I kind of uh, took it that maybe it was like all stores that sold the red vinyl. I was leaning more, more towards the vinyl than the CD, so. That's what I went with. Maybe the stores meant for had already sold out on them. I don't know. Either way, uh, it doesn't have a signed insert. So, I do kind of think it's cool how they have the cutout on here. Kind of cool. Old school to it, but. Got a custom sleeve, and yeah, as I said, it's this clear red vinyl. So, yeah. Uh, up next, uh, not too big on pop music. Uh, when I do get into pop music, it's usually going to be older stuff, stuff that's not particularly relevant. This is an exception to that. Uh, I love, uh, Chappelle Rowan. Is that how you pronounce her name? I probably just embarrass myself, but, uh, yeah. One thing that I think is kind of weird is uh, on the back it has like a link that you can get to for the credits. I prefer to actually have the credits. I mean, I mean, you could do some graphic design work to overlay it over this, or, you know, put an insert, printed sleeve, something on I mean, it. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's some cool pictures and shit in this, but I mean, still, I, I feel like the packaging could have been better. Uh, but, yeah. Not a whole lot going on to it. It's just over three sides of vinyl. Uh, the fourth side is blank. No etching or nothing. Uh, I know there is a, another version of this album that costs more. That's the blank side. And I assume it has a better packaging on it. But, I mean, like I said, I, I, I enjoy this music, but not quite enough that I feel like I'm willing to pay significantly more to get it on vinyl because i mean I, it is a double vinyl over three sides i mean it's still double vinyl so and it is a fairly pricey album uh next up we have uh okay so uh, before i get into the rest of these i have a bit of confession to make uh i'm a christmas music person uh i usually at least start listening to christmas music fairly early about might even start like purchasing the new Christmas albums that I want for that year, even earlier than that. Uh, I think a lot of this kind of comes from uh, <clears throat> me and in, being involved in uh, different Christmas programs throughout my life. Uh, and yeah, when you're involved in that, you just kind of listen to Christmas music too fucking early. But uh, from Bad Religion, we got uh, Christmas songs. Nine Christmas songs over a single side of vinyl. Uh, it does have a printed sleeve. And then for the vinyl itself, black vinyl, but like I said, once again, over a single side. So we do have this etching, some deer antlers. I'm sure I'm pretty, it's pretty embarrassing that I don't know the significance of the number nine. I only have one other Bad Religion album. Oh uh, yeah. 
I'm not entirely sure what that's supposed to mean, but pretty cool. And next up, I do have a couple CDs, once again, of Christmas music. I do have one other Christmas album that uh, I ordered the same time as I ordered the rest of these. It hasn't arrived yet. I haven't got a shipping notification for it yet. I'll probably uh, reach out and do some customer service shit soon, but uh, let's start with this one. We got uh, Rod Stewart, Merry Christmas, baby. This is actually my first Rod Stewart album, but I do enjoy Rod Stewart. This came a little bit loose there. Uh, nothing of note behind it, but yeah, I mean, it's a fair, there's some download for some new well, we knew at the time of the release of this, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward, more poppy stuff. Uh, I'm a little bit more selective when it comes to, like, that type of Christmas music. I mean, I just showed a punk. I, I generally prefer, like, more weirder Christmas music. I mean, that is something that I do like about Christmas music is how, you know, a lot of uh, people are playing the same songs, but they're so drastically different, you know. Yeah, I like seeing people do things that are weird with Christmas music. And yeah, I mean, not the weirdest thing for Rod Stewart, but I like his voice, you know. Uh, but one of my favorite, at least in the terms of female voices, would be Sarah McLaughlin. And this is Winter Song. Of course, she did the song Angel, but she also has the voice of an angel as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but yeah. That's what we got going on on here. So, yeah. That's what I got in for today. As I've said, I, I should have one more coming eventually. I, actually, I just uh, ordered another uh, vinyl EP, but that's coming from overseas. So, probably take a decent minute to get here. But I'm pretty excited when that gets here because that's going to be really fucking cool. But, uh, yeah. I'll uh, see y'all next time.